All right, welcome back. From the World Cup to Will Smith breaking his silence about that now infamous slap of Chris Rock. A lot has been happening lately. So in tonight's unfiltered conversation, we check in with our friend Rob Kendall from WIBC to get his take on these hot topics. All right, Rob, uh, good to have you on again. Uh, a couple of things have happened since the last time we talked, so I wanted to get your take on it. For, first off, have you been watching the, the World Cup? Yes. What do you think? Well, uh, we have talked about the idea that sports should have forward movement and the ball should be going forward at all times. Right. And it appears the ball goes backwards a lot in soccer, Phil, but yes. I am told that that is a reasonable and accepted part of the sport, so I'll go with the experts. Okay, so uh, were you a soccer fan prior to this? When I was a kid, I won a Colby Jones autographed soccer ball. Oh. And um, uh, I believe a cheese company sponsored the soccer ball. I kept it until it got deflated, and then I threw it out. Right. Okay, so uh, needless to say, you like me, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. Um, but the one thing I will say, okay, is, and I work with a bunch of soccer fans here in the station. Every time I say soccer, they say it's football. Yeah. It's football. But doing some research, being the reporter that I am, I come, I came to find out that the word soccer actually comes from the UK. And here's the thing about Phil. He sent me like 93 articles on this. <laughs> Phil was insistent that I was as prepared as I could possibly be. Uh, Phil sent me about 93 articles. So now I know everything I never knew I needed to know about how the English people are responsible for us calling it soccer. I was shocked. I, I was shocked because everybody always says it's football. I even I had a Facebook post about a soccer player not too long ago. And somehow, some way it got out to the UK and people were comp it's football, it's football. And I so then I started I started Googling and I oh, oh, the reason why it's called soccer is because in the UK they wanted to differentiate from rugby football. So they called it soccer. So there you go. So it's not our fault. Well, here's my question about soccer, though, Phil, yes. and you're you're just slightly more seasoned than me, though you look 20 years younger. So when you were a kid, yes, when I was a kid, we were told everybody will be playing soccer in 30 years. You might as well get on the soccer train now. Yes. Uh, football's violent. You don't want to do fo football anymore. And yet here 30 years later, it still doesn't seem like everyone's playing soccer. And it still seems like we struggle as a nation with soccer. So when That's does right. everyone start playing soccer? That's right. When is it going to happen? Right. Cause they've been talking about this since the seventies. I feel, uh, I agree. Um, so did, did, have you seen the, the Will Smith stuff recently? So he's on with Trevor Noah the other night I saw, and, yeah. uh, he was giving some sort of an apology, but Phil, and you are a trained journalist. You are an investigator extraordinary. You get paid to ask hard questions. This is true. Did you notice the words he never said in the apology tour? I, I, well, there you go. I didn't hear an apology. Yeah, there was no I'm sorry. He was the victim, right? And this is the thing. We keep this guy hit a guy on television. It would be mm -hmm. the equivalent of me getting up and smacking Jason Hammer on television, which right. many people might like. But, of course, even though it's Hammer, it would be totally inappropriate. And then me going on with you, Phil, and you telling me how great I am because my show has pretty good ratings, and then I never actually telling you that I'm sorry for hitting Hammer. Right. D don't you think he would have? It would have behooved him to just say, "Hey, look, I had a bad day. It's my bad. Let's, you know, like I I'm sorry. Just basically, just be totally apologetic about it and try to move on." But it, it seems like he keeps digging himself a hole because he's not sorry. Right. I mean, you, you have uh, perfectly trained children. They're very well educated. They're well, very well brought up. I know that's wow. mostly because of Mrs. Bill that's Sanchez. Right. Yes. Uh, it has very little to do with you. But, you know, <laughs> right, your, your, your kid messes up. What do you, you say to him? What do you say? I'm yeah. sorry. Right. right? Never right. said I'm sorry because he's not sorry. And the guy gets rewarded for not being sorry because Trevor Noah tells him how great he is the whole time. Well, there you go. That's 2022 in a nutshell right there. What else you got? I got a minute left. Anything else that... How excited are we that Mike Braun is running for governor? Where are we at? Where are you? you're, you're the straight news guy. I'm a commentary guy. Where are you at on Mike Braun running for governor? You know, you wanted to bring me into politics, didn't you? You had to get me into politics. You had to. You just, you just couldn't help yourself. We'll talk about that maybe off air, okay? <laughs> uh, here, here's, here's the deal, Phil. Yes. I'm excited when rich people run for politics because uh, maybe there'll be a job in it for me somewhere down the road. I need more rich friends. I don't know about you. I feel like my life would be better the more rich friends I have. And on that note, Rob Kendall, always good to see you, sir. Thank good you for coming you. on. <laughs>